Hey everybody, I'm Mike Peters. And I'm Rebecca Farina. And you're watching LIE. Whoop! <laughs> Coming up, we'll see what's going on with PATV during the holidays. We'll check in with Tom Swazi at his latest town hall meeting. And we'll learn a little bit more about the Fab Four with our segment, Did You Know? All that and more on, on LIE. LIE. Incoming. Incoming. There oh! Whoa, good catch. Thank you. I think we have this month's events. All right, let's take a look. On December 20th, we have the Celebrate the Holidays uh, holiday concert with the David Gluck duo at Landmark on Main Street. That's right. at 2 p.m. and it's a free show. The information is up on the screen. I like that word free. I love that word free. <laughs> on December 29th, we actually have a speed dating event that's going on in Great Neck at Union Prime Steak and Sushi. There's a lot of information on the screen about that one if you're interested. Yeah, all you singles get out there. Yep. And until February 28th, so you have plenty of time, Long time, there is the Endless Summer Indoor Volleyball Leagues going on in Oceanside. <laughs> so where, get out of the cold? Yes, if you <laughs> get out of the cold, you can play some beach volleyball indoors. That sounds awesome. The information is up on the screen. And finally, again for you singles, we have the Walk and Talk singles every Saturday until April 7th at Jones Beach where you can, you know, walk along the boardwalk and hopefully meet some new people. Sounds like an that awesome event. Sounds like a really good time. Yeah, who cares about the cold? Enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, get out it's there. Beautiful weather. And uh, a lot of stuff happening for the holiday season. There's tree lightings, manure lightings happening all over the town. Uh, so let's take a look at what to expect. Tis the season to deck the halls when the residents of Manhasset gathered here tonight to light the city's annual Christmas tree with good music, hot chocolate, and good company, everybody enjoyed themselves. For years, the residents of Manhasset have gathered at Mary Jane Davies Green to kick off the holiday season with the lighting of the town's Christmas tree. This year, the residents enjoyed music from the Manhasset High School Brass Choir and delicious hot cocoa and coffee provided by Folgers Coffee. This is a real tradition in Manhasset. Um, it's an annual Manhasset Christmas tree lighting ceremony and it's a symbolic way of getting the holiday season off to a really fun start. Many parents that enjoyed the tree lighting as children brought their own children to experience the event themselves. I grew up in Manhasset, so I, I grew up going to this myself with my parents and uh, this is Ryan's first time. Being from Los Angeles myself, a big town and working in New York City, and I, I didn't grow up in a, in a small town, you know, in a suburb like this, and I was just telling my wife, like, this is unbelievable. You get the real feeling of Christmas and the holidays. It's really special, and I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of it. I'm glad my family's here to see it. Along with the tree lighting, the annual Chamber of Commerce Holiday Poster Contest winners were announced. So it is, it's a real hometown, small town celebration. It's kind of like a Norman Rockwell experience. Manhasset residents counted down to the lighting and the cheers for the tree quickly switched to screams for Santa who arrived not on his reindeer pulled sled but on a fire truck driven by Manhasset's finest. The evening's events ended with smiles and a lot of hot chocolate. In Manhasset, for North Shore News, on PATV, I am Raven Blue. Thank you for watching PATV. What we do here has been made possible in part by community residents and organizations using our facility and equipment to create original programming. Come visit, take a tour, and get involved.
You just heard from our executive director, Erica Bradley, in that video where she told us a little bit about PATV and all the awesome stuff we do here and that you're welcome to come get involved, so please do. Yeah, absolutely. Our doors are always open. And we even offer production workshops, so if you really want to come in and learn how to use the equipment, we'd love to show you how. Just email info at patv.org and we'll, we'll tell you how to get involved. Uh, in addition to the workshops, we actually also offer our production services. Right. Uh, we recently had some people come in and take part in our production services, uh, so let's take a look at what they did. This could be you. Check it out. So even more so, Lydia, oh Lydia, they have you met Lydia. There you go. That's a take. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how to get the costume in there. Uh, that's why I'm going to take a look at all my scripts. I have every one of them in here. Every script we ever wrote. It's like 100. Oh, we could do dual. But we don't have the swords. Why do we rely on props? We don't have a whip. If I knew. <laughs> you can make a party city run. I see a lot on the board. What are we actually going to do? There could be editing. So as long as we have a shot of them alone in the dark, you can do whatever you want with it later. Do you need the priest costume? Do you need a book? Well, I, need a, I have a black shirt. Put a white collar in there. He's got to learn lines. He's got to learn lines. <laughs> Doctor, you have spent a lifetime of study, countless hours bent over a telescope. Are we alone? No. So we could do those, and, they, and everyone here should be in it. You should be in it. <laughs> do you need flowers? Then come on down to Walter's Flowers. We have all kinds of flowers for all flower occasions. We have sunflowers, rose flowers, Tulip flowers, sunflowers, lily flowers, and Walter flowers. That's me. Walter flowers of Walter's flowers. And then you chit chat, no no dialogue, just thank the, you know, shake hands, thanks for coming, blah, 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 blah. So, no reaction from you this time. Straight back to the two shot after he says fine. Well, that's all the time we have for the show. Okay. Answer. Sounds good. I'm nervous. Don't be. You're, you're, <laughs> you'll look fine. Hello, and welcome back to The Short Answer. I'm your host, Dean Phillips. I'm joined by Wyoming Senator William Goodwin, eminent statesman, diplomat, and politician of no fixed opinions. Vice Chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, former representative for the 8th District of Wyoming, and ex-mayor of Chugwater. How are you this evening, Senator? Fine. Well, that's all the time we have for The Short Answer. Tune in next time when we'll be joined by the sitting Secretary of State as we ask if his chair is comfortable. Good night. Really feel like we made a difference. Take a look at it, because that was probably one of the best first takes we've ever seen. I mean, we heard so much for this role. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that was, it was like perfect. A... Perfect. Come on through. My whole life I was waiting for this role. <laughs> what a take, let me tell you. Well, it's, uh, it's getting a little late. I think it's got to be, what, about midnight? So uh, I'll but, see you later. But I need your help. The British are coming. Look, I, um, I support our troops. Have fun with that. Is he still recording? Mm. Hi, my name is Andre from the Mahassa Great Nick EOC here to wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas from me to you. Man, what a great message. I really love this time of year. 
So, Rebecca, what else is going on in town? There was actually a town hall recently right here in Great Neck with U.S. Congressman Tom Swasey, who represents the 3rd District in New York. And he talked a lot about what's going on in the Congress nowadays, and there were a lot of people in attendance. So, let's check out this clip. Very few people vote in the primary. 10% of the people vote in the primary, and they're often to the extremes of both sides. So the Republicans play to the far right, and the Democrats play to the far left, and nobody gets anything done. And everybody says, why doesn't anybody get anything done? Why is everybody so acrimonious? Because they're being pulled apart, because so few people are participating in the primaries. The hope of America is to, number one, get fixed gerrymandering. I'm one of 36 members of the House of Representatives that signed on to an amicus brief before the Supreme Court that was argued on October 3rd to say that partisan gerrymandering is unconstitutional. We need more competitive seats. And as important as that, or more important than that, but you need the structural change to really make it effective, you need the people to be involved like you are, to pay attention, and to get involved, and to say what they, what they feel, and to, and to change things because of what they want to see changed. We have the 2018 elections, which are next year. We have a town hall meeting where there are, how many people are in this room, do we know? 170. How many? 170. Over 150. This is unheard of. Okay, I did, I did 25 or six town hall meetings during my election campaign, okay? I had meetings, the most I had was maybe 100 people ever, and that was in Glen Cove. <laughs> and, you know, I had other meetings with five people there. Every meeting I hold is like this. So the great news of what's happening right now in America today, the great, great news is that people are paying attention. Mm -hmm. And democracy only works when people pay attention. So we're welcoming back one of our favorite segments here on yeah. LID. It's called Did You Know? And do you know? I don't know anything. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. You know what? Carly, come here. Come here. Hey so, guys! <laughs> Hi, Carly. Can you tell us what is this Did You Know About? Well, uh, this is the 50th anniversary of the Sgt. Pepper's album, but it's really about if we would even know about the Beatles had it not been for a special great neck man. Hmm. Local guy, huh? Mm -hmm. That sounds really interesting. Wow, Let's take a look. Hi there, I'm Carleen Lavelle, and this is Did You Know? A segment on LIE Magazine where I tell you something you probably didn't know about Long Island. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm listening to something really cool. I'm going to give you one more reason on this episode to appreciate GreatNet and the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So come on. But before I tell you this interesting fact, the question is would we even have the Sgt. Pepper's album if it were not for a Great Neck native? You see, in 1964, a promoter by the name of Sid Bernstein, who is called the father of the British invasion, stumbled upon the Beatles. Their music wasn't played in the States, but he knew something was there. He was fascinated with the hysteria that surrounded them. He was the first to promote the Beatles in the States. In fact, Ed Sullivan called Sid about the Beatles before he ever booked them on his television show. When it was announced in 1964 they were coming to the United States to perform on the Ed Sullivan Show, Sid booked the Beatles for two back-to-back -back concerts at Carnegie Hall on February 12, 1964. It took a lot of convincing to get Carnegie Hall and his investors to commit, but it paid off because both shows sold out immediately. And this is what started Beatlemania. But there is one secret that many people don't know about Sid Bernstein and the Beatles. So Sid, their promoter, decided to give them a break from their time in New York City and a break from the crowds, and so he brought them to his home located on Broadlawn Avenue in Kings Point. So there you have it. Had it not been for a great neck native and a hunch, we may not have ever known who the Beatles were 
and probably would not be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Sgt. Pepper's album. Oh, we have to stop meeting like this. Remember, if you ever find yourself in Great Neck, this is where legends once stood. I'm Karen Laval. I'll see you later. If you have any comments, cool facts, or suggestions for our next Did You Know segment, send us a note at info at patv.org. an awesome show. It was really great. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, great holiday messages from the religious organizations in our area. Right, as well as the tree lightings. It's true, and we learned a lot about what's going on with the federal government from Tom Swazi himself. That's right, and we had that Did You Know package where we learned about the Beatles and their connection to Great Man. I did not know that. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. So uh, I think the best way to wrap up this little festive holiday episode is with some holiday vibes from Great. Happy Take holidays. <laughs> Yay! Mike and Rebecca, thank you for this wonderful incoming. Do, 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 do. What's the news across the nation? Um, you know why? Because we had to have a special delivery because it's December. It's not cold enough yet. Um, but it will be. It's going to get there. A little chill in the air. And December is going to be quite the mixed vibe month for everybody. It's going to uh, be dealing with the, the Mercury retrograde, and when Mercury's retrograde, things get a little confused with um, our electronics and plans, and just in time for the holidays, people. Woot, woot. So, the key word is patience for December. That's what we're gonna need. Keep up the holiday cheer. One martini, two martini, three martini, four. Only kidding, those aren't the spirits we're talking about. We're talking about the good spirits of the holiday season. So this holiday season, please remember, uh, in the midst of all the chaos, find the calm on an internal level and realize there's no place like home. And isn't that the truth of it? Click those heels three times, everybody out there. And know that this too shall pass. December, hey, it's been dicey all year. We've made it through. Uh, we're gonna make it through December as well. So just have your sense of humor, a lot of patience, and a lot of love, and we'll get through this holiday season with flying colors. Flying, and I mean flying colors.